In this video, I'm going to talk about brushes. And brushes are just amazing with what you can do with them. And it opens up a whole new world of possibilities um, and exciting things that you can do with your images. You can start creating things from scratch. Um, or you can just add a bit of flair to something that you're doing. It might be to do with designing or anything like that. Um, brushes are absolutely fantastic. And I want to show you how you can create your own brushes as well. But first of all, someone asked me uh, the other day um, where they can get new brushes and all that kind of stuff. Now, the best thing you can do is go to your friend Google and type in free Photoshop brushes. And there's heaps out there. So um, you also might type in free um, water Photoshop brushes or Splash. Yeah, Splash is another good one as well. Because um, there's some very cool, cool ones that are um, sort of splashed you know, type type looks. Now, I can show you very easily, though, how to create that yourself. And it might be as simple as just getting, um, if you've got kids, getting one of your kids to get the paints out and, you know, have a bit of a paint, a bit of a splat, uh, or do it yourself because you enjoy it. And, and then once it's dry, scan it. And then you can actually create a brush out of that. And once you start thinking like this, you can you can really start being creative with the way that you get brushes and textures and different things. Um, you might have your phone with you and you could just photograph something. You could photograph a, a, a texture on a wall and, uh, you know, a brick pattern or something like that. And you can use that as well. So there's virtually the possibilities are endless when it comes to brushes. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to go up into my brushes palette here. And you can see I've got some different ones here that I've um, added. I've just found these on the net or, or made them myself. And you can see they, uh, you know, some of them have very cool patterns. And you can mess with them as well. You don't have to, um, you know, use them exactly as they are there. You can come in and change the shape dynamics. You can change the scattering, all that kind of stuff. And um, obviously you can, you know, change the color with, you know, what you use them for and how you use them and then change the size of them. Um, there, there's so much that you can do with it. I'll just... Uh, choose a different brush now you can see and there's these other ones here which are really cool I, I just love these brushes and they're great for print work as well because sometimes um you know designers and whatnot can get in a bit of a stagnant bit of a designer block kind of thing but brushes have a way of sort of helping you get out of that and and really starting fresh again um so i really uh, really love them all right so that's just a few now um you can see I've got a whole heap of different ones here and they can just add really great effects. Now, especially if you're doing something, let's say you had a bottle and water was coming out of it, you could actually use some of these brushes to help um, with that as well and add effects to it too. Um, now, what I'm going to do now is actually show you how to create your own brush. Um, now, I've got a photo here, a um, photo of my daughter swimming underwater, having a good time. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually change this to black and white. So we've got to change the mode to grayscale. And if it comes up here and says discard color information, just click on discard. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is come up to image adjustments and I'm going to just come down to threshold here. And I'm just going to sort of mess around with this a little bit. And I want to still be able to kind of make out, um, her face so you can see her eyes and mouth nose here but I don't want it to be kind of uh, too too sort of detailed so thresholds just one effect that you can do um, you can actually create like a grayscale looking brush as well um, so if I click on OK if I undo this um, I could create a brush out of this I just make a selection of it and then away I go I can create a brush out of that but for this one here we'll do it with threshold okay so threshold there just Pull that back a bit like so okay cool now I suppose if I wanted you know I could um, paint with white here just to kind of um, soften up some of these edges here so it's not got like a hard edge kind of on the on the brush uh, so yeah on my on my new brush that I'm creating okay I'll just choose a different brush here just get some different kind of effects as well just so it doesn't look, um, you know, 
like a standard feather or something like that. You know, you got um, feathering. Well, feathering's cool, but like cool brushes are even better. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's looking pretty good now. And so you can see there, I've actually used different brushes to just, you know, mess up my edge a bit. If I don't like it, I mean, I can obviously always come in and, you know, I could uh, select different type of brushes as well. Um, and, you know, just add a different effect to it like so. All right. And I've just got white as my foreground color there. So I'm just, it's a black and white setup going on here. All righty. So here we have it. Now what I'm going to do is make sure that my image size, uh, I think it's about two and a half thousand pixels. If I go over that, I'm not sure, let's say 2,800. Um, I'll just try now and see if it'll work. Yeah, okay. Now, if we come down here and if define brush preset is grayed out, that means that your, your canvas is too big. So I'm going to come in here, image size, and I think if I make it two and a half thousand pixels wide, that should be okay. Okay, and you can see now I've got define brush preset. You can also define patterns as well. Um, that's that's a topic for another day. But um, I'll just click on define brush preset, and now I can call my brush name something. So I could just call it um, girl or whatever you want. Um, in this case, it's Emma, my daughter. So I'll just click on OK. Now let's go to our canvas. I'll just delete that again. And so we can try out our new brush. So now I'm going to click on the brush tool. And now in my brushes palette, I'll just scroll down to the bottom and it should be at the very bottom. And here we go. Here's our new brush. And you can see as I hover over it, it says Girl Emma, the name that I had for it. Now it's a pretty gigantic brush. Is that a problem? No, of course not. You want to have your brush set up big in case you're working on something really high resolution. So, um, you know... In this case, I'll just reduce the size of the brush down to 911 pixels. Let's get a color. Um, now, I'll make it kind of pinky magenta color because Emma's a girl. Now, I'll just hit my brush, and there you have it. Now, you can see I've just very quickly and easily from a photo created a cool brush. And, um, you know, you could use this in so many different ways. You can adjust the opacity, you know, you can do um, soft ones, you can make it bigger, you know. There, there's, there's so many different things you can do with brushes. Um, and that's just one of them. That's how you create brushes to start with. Um, a lot of people have no idea about how to create brushes, but um, that's how you can do it very quickly and very easily. And like I said before, you can really do this with any texture or anything that you see. Just get your phone out, boom, take a photo of it, bring it into Photoshop, mess around with it a bit. You can play with the levels and adjustments and all that kind of stuff until you're happy with your brush. Um, and then, yeah, go from there. And you can even use other brushes like you saw I do uh, just with the edge of it, you know, just to kind of feather it nicely. Um, yeah, so that's how you can create brushes, um, and then you've got them for life. You can use them on all sorts of projects just to add a bit of creative flair to it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to use brushes, but also how to create your own brushes and define them. So once you've got your black and white image, come up to Edit, and then click on Define Brush Preset, and then you just name your brush. Simple as that. So have a fantastic day. I can sense we're probably going to have more videos on brushes. Um, it's been a fairly popular topic, and I do get requests from time to time about it. People just don't understand how to use them. So you'll be one step ahead of the pack now. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.